Hello everybody, I am back with another unboxing video for you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing pretty good here too in Wisconsin. The weather is a little bit chilly today, but spring is on the way, so I'm super glad. Um, I'm cleaning house today, um, and then the mail lady came and she had a couple of really fun packages for me. So I wanna show you another subscription box that I get. This one is called Sacred Hollow. Um, it also comes, like the last one I showed, in a box inside of a pot. Holly Mailer. Um, and it just says Sacred Hollow at, for the return address. It doesn't, you know, say anything like witchy subscription service or anything like that. So it is pretty um, nondescript as far as, oh, and there's a fragile sticker on there for us too. So let me see if I can get this thing open easily. Okay. Here is the box. Again, it is smaller than a shoe box, but it's not super small. It has the Sacred Hollow sticker on the front. I think this is either the second or third one of these that I have gotten from them specifically. So they are not new to me. Oh, what in the Sam heck? Oh, it's just tight. <laughs> okay. And here's the opening. This is March's box. So there's lots of green in there. It's St. Patty's Day this month. Okay, and it looks like the theme is Runes of the Elder something. And then it's got this gorgeous picture here of either, I don't know, female or male witch throwing some runes with some bunnies in the background. It's springtime, so. That is lovely. It does have a sticker on the back, so you couldn't really use it as a postcard. Um, yes, it's a rune box. That's what we have here. There's um, something here saying everything that's inside. I'm not going to look too close. I like to be surprised. There is a Sabbat calendar for March, and we have Ostera in March, which is, um, isn't that like the beginning of spring or something? That's what the Ostera holiday is, I believe. And that starts on the 19th, two days after St. Patrick's Day. Um, and then we have a full moon in Libra. Guess who's a Libra? So this is going to be my full moon here. Yay. Um, there is a sheet describing what the runes are, what they mean. I'm guessing there's probably a rune set in there. And then there is, um, talks about how to cast runes. Gives you different ways that you can do runes. Um, you know, casting just three or casting nine. Or I know you can also do runes by just reaching in and grabbing one, and then you refer to your rune decipher sheet here. So those are the papers that I got, and then this gorgeous green um, tissue paper and a thank you sticker. So let's open that up. Oh, that just came right off. Okay, first I have some Get Glengel Root. Oh, I just bought this too. Maybe I'll save this and give it to um, another friend. Uh, so this is for divination, psychic abilities, and hex breaking. So this is a good one to use in spells. I don't know if you can burn it like incense. I don't know that much about Galango Root, except that I just bought it at the witchy store like a couple weeks ago. So I don't need this. So like I said, I may save it. Um, and then what we have here is it looks like some tea. Because um, it says rune casting divination blend. Oh, this isn't tea. This is probably just like a... Maybe it is a tea. There's elderflower, wormwood. I don't think you're supposed to drink wormwood. Um, hyssop, galangal root, and chamomile and peppermint. Um, maybe this is like an incense or something you could put into a spell jar. You know what, I'll look at my thing when we're all done and see what it is. Yeah, I don't think that's a tea. It smells divine. Mm, that smells good. I'll look at the end and see. And we got some frankincense tears. I also have these already in my um, in my witchy supplies. Um, this I may keep though because I love to burn frankincense tears on top of a charcoal disc. I love the smell of frankincense. It's very earthy and woody and like almost like pine sap or something like that. And I love that smell. To me, it just smells like clean and gets me in touch with Mother Nature. That smell does. So I'll probably save this for once I go through what I have. 
Okay, and then there's lots of this like crinkly um, paper in there for packing, so that's good. Save that if you're like me. I do have a, an Etsy shop and I use this kind of stuff to pack up things that people buy from me. So now I have pulled out a candle. Oh, it's like beeswax. Look at how it's like rolled. It's like a sheet of beeswax and it's rolled. Isn't that cute? But it's blue, so maybe it's dyed and then, I don't know, re-melted in a like a mold or something, I don't know. Um, it's for meditation. Light prayer and meditation to calm the conscious mind. Doesn't really smell like anything. So it's probably just more natural on the scent there. Okay, here is a worry stone. Okay, now I have to look because I don't know what these things are. Let's see. This is blue adventuring. Ooh, that's cute. Um, chakra purifying benefits allows one to realize their intrinsic and psychic abilities. Hold this in your palm while divining. So you could hold it in your palm while you're doing runes, while you're doing tarot, while you're doing pendulum readings, um, to boost your natural intuitive abilities. I love that. This is blue adventuring. I've heard of green adventuring, but I've never heard of blue. It's very pretty, isn't it? You can see the veining on the back there. Gorgeous. I love that. Can't wait to cleanse that and see what that feels like. So we got that. Oh, let's look up the rune casting blend and see what that is. Gal and Galba. Okay. Herbs carefully chosen for use in spells or rituals regarding intuition, divination, dream magic, and can be used in intuitive enchantments and charms. So it's definitely not a tea. I'm glad that I looked that up. Uh, because like I said, wormwood, I'm a little leery of that. I don't think you're supposed to ingest that. Um, so this is just like a, a some ritual herbs that you can use. Smells super good. You could probably burn some of it maybe and get the smell. So we've got that. Ooh, I bet you this is the rune set. Look at this gorgeous navy blue velvet bag. That's lovely. I always like to have a little bag to keep your runes in. Um, I do, I already have a rune set, but it's always nice to have options so you can choose whatever you feel drawn to at the time that you're gonna do runes. These ones are white. White rune set contains the rune of the elder something. Futhark, Firthark, cast from resin. So they're not stones, it's resin. Um, perfect set to begin learning the sacred art of ancient rune casting. So here's one, they're all sort of like different shapes so they do look um, almost like natural stones. Uh, so that's great. I'm gonna put all these right back inside my bag. This is a full rune set. That's gonna be fun to play with. <clears throat> and like I said, always good to have options. So if somebody asks you to do a rune or you feel compelled to do a rune for somebody or for yourself, you just kind of like be like, oh, which one do I feel like is gonna be good for me today? So good choices on that one. What else is in here? Anything else? Yep, looks like I got a few more things in here. Okay, there's some things in here, sure. Okay, uh, intuition sacred ritual bath salt with lavender buds, peppermint leaf, peppermint oil, spearmint oil, and clary sage oil. This is gorgeous, I'm not much of a bath taker. Oh my God, it smells so good. The first thing I smell is the spearmint and that's one of my favorite smells. Also one of my favorite tastes for tea. More so than peppermint. I like spearmint better. Oh, that smells so good. I'm not a bath taker, but I just may have to do that with this stuff. That smells so good. And a great big container of it, too. There's enough in there for at least a good two baths or more if you're really sparing with it. But at least two baths. Um, this is Intuition Sacred Aura Spray. Spritz around your aura, cleansing spray around your altar space or your physical space. Cleanse your ritual items, um, your physical body. Invoke the guiding light of divine intuition into your space. I wonder what this smells like. Intuition spray. Oh, it doesn't say on there what it smells like. I think I smell lemon in there. Doesn't say for external use only, so. But I think I smell some lemon or some type of citrus in there. Okay, I've got two more things here. I have an intuition roll-on. 
look at, can you see the herbs in there? And then it has like some type of oil in there. Um, call on the ancient powers with oils and herbs selected to heighten your psychic abilities while divining. Uh, mystical scents of lavender, orange, and frankincense. Roll on the temples to soothe headaches. I love frankincense. I was just saying that. That I love the smell of frankincense. Let's see if I can get some to... Oh, that smells good. I mostly smell the orange. I can pick up a little bit of the lavender. I don't smell much of the frankincense. That's okay. I have frankincense oil on my shelf over there. So I love that. And to roll on the temples to soothe headaches. I don't know about you guys, but I do get headaches. So maybe I will give this a try next time. It surely smells very, very good. Um, and then this is a rosewood filigree box. Look at this. Oh, and it's gold on the ends. And it's a little box. What does this say? New Age Imports. Um, and it has this stuff like here so you could put like you could probably put some of these um the divination blend put this in here and just let the smell kind of go around um you could maybe probably not burn an incense in there since it's wood um but you could keep a stone in there a special stone or whatever it is this is gorgeous this is going to be a really pretty altar decoration for me i'm definitely going to put something in there either a sacred stone or some incense or something like that so that is what came in my sacred hollow box for the month of March. And they are on it because today is March 1st and I already got it. So yay for them. Okay, that is my subscription box. I'm going to close this video. I do have one more look for it. I got in some rough stones. I'm gonna open and show you guys what I got for that. So goodbye for now, blessed be, love to you all, peace and light, bye.